we've established what word I'm going to say, uh, we're now going to paint my palette in order to see what's, what's on my tongue. So what happens is that Alicia will paint the, my entire upper palette black, and when, when I say the word some, the, uh, the, the, the marks on my tongue will show where my tongue is during the word, because the places where my tongue touches my palette, the, the black paint gets transferred onto my tongue, and we'll see a nice pattern. You want to help your subject uh, be ready for the filming, so yeah. Willem, if, if you could just say the word once and then open your mouth as wide as possible. Okay. Some. Cool. Right there. Try that again. Some. Okay. Like Gene okay. Simmons style. Yes, yeah, easier with the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it like Hopefully. Now, Willem, don't swallow after you say the word tongue. <laughs> just stick your tongue out. And you might want, wait, 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 oh, for the, this is going to involve a lot of drooling now. Yes. <laughs> so what we might want is a lot of paper, in case William starts drooling all over himself. He can Fun stab times. himself. Yeah. The important thing, if he swallows now, the paint will go all over his palate and tongue, and we're just going to have the right little mess to deal with. So, so before we paint, Willem, are you sure you know the word that we're going to be filming this time? I know the word that we're going to be filming. Okay. <laughs> and you won't swallow. Good. No. Okay. Go back up and just okay. tilt your head back. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We dripped some paint on yeah. the center of his tongue, but you just need to remember that when we're analyzing the photograph. Or just use the towel to get mm. the it won't paint work from your tongue. tongue. It won't work. I need the juice. Okay. Right. Say the target word, Will? Some. You cut your tongue? Yeah. And here we got it. Contact by the side, gap in the middle. That's an S. <laughs> and we put the paint and the brush on something that actually says that this is Gulim so that we don't get mixed up, so that we don't put people's spit into each other's mouths. So this has Gulim's paint. And now to clean up the mouth, we need something with fruit acid. So sort of before and after shock. Yeah. So we have before, <laughs> pretty unpleasant. So you chew, and you chew, and you chew, and you swish it around in your mouth, and before you know it, it's all clean again. Some. Ooh. Some. Sharp. Nice. There's a difference between lateral and central S's, and lateral S's, or lateral fricatives, lateral fricatives more like. They have an obstruction in the middle and the air comes out by the side. And central fricatives have obstruction by the side, gap in the middle and air comes out in the middle. Now these central fricatives may be median coming out right between the front teeth or they may be a bit off target. And you'll see that mine is a bit off target. You see I have a crooked tooth here and this is where I direct the air stream so that it breaks against that tooth and makes a beautiful S that you won't hear the difference, but you'll see the difference. Yeah. Hmm? Cool. My piercings might make difference. They do make a difference for bilabial clicks, I think. And I can't do palatal implosives, but maybe that's just me and not the piercing. Mm -hmm. But for the S's, they should be fine because they're not in the way. For some speakers, yeah. you want to ask them to dry their palettes first because they may have very. See, this is not quite as easy to do as with the large paintbrush. Okay, you ready to say the word? Mm hmm. Baja. Stick out your tongue? Nice. See? There are sounds where. retroflex sounds where you use the underneath of the tip of your tongue. And for that, obviously, you have to paint the underneath as well, or paint the palette as well. And we haven't done those, so we should do a few of those. And I don't speak Hindi or any language where they would occur, so I'll just do the phoneticians. Ah, da. The end. I'll be able to reach. <laughs> All right, that should do it. Ah, da. And the underside? Yep. Lovely. This actually does mean to cut in Hadza, only if you have a masculine singular object. Ha. 
So how far pain? Oh, this is clicks. Clicks we need to get far back to get to show the, the velar. Dorsal. Dorsal. It's dorsal not always dorsal. velar. Sometimes it's the dorsal that's easier yeah. than because yeah. part of it. So you're not ticklish. You're not easily vomiting. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I have the bucket so ready. <laughs> <laughs> so I paint your velum and then forward. Yeah. Up until the alveolar ridge. Yeah. I'll try not to get it on your lips like with Jenny. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah. And there's a tiny, tiny little gap here. Ha. Ha. Sometimes if the contact wasn't very good, you can ask the speaker to say the word again. But it was lovely. Oh, okay. You could see it like bing, little, 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 little. <laughs> So that was a post alveolar ha that I made. Mm -hmm. Next we'll do a palatal click. Ha. Okay. You're basically making the same contact that you do for a palatal stop. Yeah. But it's a click. Da, da, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's sinking sound. Okay. Da. Da. You can see that the center gap is a bit further back. The little. Covering the whole tongue, right? Yeah, well, there's a tiny, tiny gap. Yeah, tiny, tiny. Yeah, yeah, that's very typical for palatal clicks. So we like to do those last because they get everything dirty. 